So today I thought we'd take a look at this Hitachi 12 volt lithium ion pack. I actually have two of these lithium ion packs. They've both been used very little. But this one here, if you can hear it, it just clicked in. And even though Hitachi does not have the best layout, it's even backwards to me for the charging indication. Um, we can see here that it's blinking roughly a half a second off half a second which we look into the manual either shows that it's before it's charging or that it's complete like charging is complete so so the battery the full or it's got issues well I just happen to know that it has issues I checked it earlier and it had zero volts so let's check it again while I'm checking it I'll take this known good battery it's almost fully charged and just see what it does and we know that while it's charging the light is continuously lit so I'll bring my meter over if you can see that on the camera okay this is this is our plus and this is our minus this one right here is so low or we're reading zero or even a little bit negative on voltage so let's take a look inside this little 12 volt Hitachi it's going to be a T8. So we have a Samsung INR18650 13B cell. zero volts zero volts we can go across this one here and here and zero volts so for some reason all three of these sales have went to zero so for me I don't know if this packs really worth saving we see that the, um, the actual circuit board I'm assuming it is somewhat of a BMS on board here, covered and potted pretty good, but it doesn't seem to be a whole lot to it. So really when all three cells are going on this pack, it's probably not really worth it, unless you just have um, three cells sitting around you wanna try. And, and I may just keep it in case I, I do come across some more. I'm kinda of low on my 18650 cells at this moment. So uh, one thing we can try I definitely never recommend it and I won't do it um, to keep these cells working but we can check and see since it is zero volts and I also checked off camera I'm sure not only zero volts but if you go to ohm it you see that it's, it's, it's open so probably most of my videos I've actually showed the the cell actually becoming shorted causing an issue in a pack when they're in series and in series parallel in a larger pack. So definitely a pack becoming, or cell becoming shorted rather, uh, can definitely be an issue. But when we, when we see it's almost exactly zero volts and we see when you ohm it, it's in the mega ohms or com completely open. Well, that kind of tells me that the CID or the um, current interrupt device is in some of these packs. And I think some of the Samsung packs have it. So, get a small screwdriver I don't know if I had it close enough to the microphone to hear it but um, <laughs> and I, I can sure smell it I actually pierced it um, so it probably did reset because I pierced it I, c I could actually hear a little hiss and I could smell a gas escape and the little pushed out diaphragm or um, little disc has probably reset and made connection now. So that was on 
this cell here. So if I go to here to here, it's showing like it's fully charged, almost a fully charged cell. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, this one just, <laughs> this pack just showed it's fully charged as well. Um, hmm. So, let me double check this one and show us it is zero, zero volts. Let's see if we can, uh, we can reset it. I did not hear it hiss, but there's a 4.1 volts. So I really, I really don't understand what what made this pack do this. Um, I, st I still got one more here. Just bear with me a second here. Just have to get to the the positive end of the, of the battery. Still got our zero volts on this cell. Not yet on this one. Well, look at there, 4.1 volts. So just holding these, making contact temporarily. Bring this over. Plus should be here. And here, minus. I just wasn't pushed down good on the top. I needed one more hand. So 12.2, so, act so actually this pack would have been fully charged, but um, something internally uh, made the actual cell internal pressure go high enough to activate not just one, but all three cells. And I've honestly never seen a pack that new, which it's not that they don't have some age to them, but they, they're used very, very little. So so I guess what I mean is with that, with that few of hours and charges on them, I really don't know what made that pack do that. But for me, um, I won't consider this pack repaired, obviously, especially the one that I know I heard hiss. Um, I don't know of uh, I don't know a venting that if it'll ever actually activate again because of the, um, we've actually relieved the pressure. So I don't think uh, I don't think that safety feature is activate. I know all cells don't have it, but for me, I'm not going to bypass that. So if I come across three cells, I will repair the pack. But this is just a quick video uh, looking at it and troubleshooting and looking inside. And actually a little bit of experience with the uh, CID feature in these Samsung batteries. If you like the video today, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So just in case you're troubleshooting a pack and, uh, and this helps you, I'll show this on the video. I just tested out the plus and the minus. This C plus here seems to also be connected through uh through the plus whether it's through a low ohm resistor or something or a diode it's hard to tell but i'm getting basically the same reading so if you're trying to check a pack um 
C plus is basically measuring the same as plus. Back to my negative. Yeah, taking a quick look at this pack, it looks like there is a temperature a protection switch that goes from where the positive would be for the pack. It goes through and then if you can see it there, just sitting on this cell. Sounds between the cell and the, and the actual BMS board. And then it comes up. So that's our, um, that's what we're reading across. So it should be close to zero ohms if everything's okay there. As I go to LE, I'm also getting like a negative T. The temperature sense for the pack, I guess the NTC is going through. I'm assuming somehow and coming back to negative, uh, reading back to positive like it's a, uh, on the negative side for T there. LS to 12.2. So very similar to the negative. But when it gets to LD, it's almost like a capacitor. It'll start off somewhere around half a volt or less and go down so I'm not, I'm not sure what LD is it's not what I thought it was so if I read LD in regards to or in respect to negative I do get some positive on there but it still goes down like it's a maybe a capacitor across there anyway just thought I'd show that in case it helps